As y'all already know, I cuss a lot in my videos. Why the fuck? Hell, you pissing me the fuck off, Zay. Yo, what's good, bro? Hey, what's good, bro? Get your bum ass outside. Who the fuck still uses swag in 2017? Bro, you know the fucking stakes. You don't have to be texting and driving. You know the fucking stakes. You're ugly as shit. No, wait a minute, bitch. No, wait a minute, whore. But what a lot of y'all notice, too, the one word I tend to shy away from is the N-word. And, you know, being that most of my friends are black, I can definitely name numerous occasions where I've been hit with the... Oh, you, you know you can say the word, right? You know you got the pass. You got the pass and shit. Look, like, look, I already look at you as black, so if you said that around me, I honestly wouldn't be offended. And then we got the YouTube comment where, I swear, y'all on YouTube be the worst with this shit because it's almost like y'all are offended that I choose not to use the word. Oh my God, I thought he was black. I didn't know he was white. Oh my God, he could definitely say the word. He got the pass. Oh my God, he's invited to all the cookouts and something. Like, y'all be writing fucking paragraphs in the comment section longer than my fucking videos. But the worst types of these people are the people who will fake timestamp in the videos. They'll be like he said the word right here and then when you go to that shit it's like a me coughing like like what what did you hear <laughs> you heard a racist asthma attack like oh, what are you talking about but the reason i choose not to use that word is because i just have too much respect for my friends who would rather i not use the word like if i really wanted to use the word i could just keep a mental reminder and be like okay these group of friends are cool with me saying it these group of friends are not so then i just gotta remember to only say it around here and then not here but the problem Problem with that is if i start saying it over here eventually it's gonna become a bad force of habit and then i'm gonna end up saying it over here so really if i started doing that it's only a matter of time before i end up saying it in front of the wrong person and it's not even just friends too like imagine if i'm meeting somebody black for the first time they don't know nothing about me they don't know my personality the first couple sentences i'm saying to them i'm, I'm throwing the word here there everywhere on a plane on a train like a fucking dr seuss book you think the perception of me is gonna be good good no they're obviously gonna have a bad perception of me like like if they're if they're offended by the word they're gonna look at me in a bad light for using that shit every chance i get so instead of just trying to like play mental mind games and try to figure out hmm i wonder if he's gonna be offended i wonder if he's gonna be offended i just choose not to use the word entirely because then i won't have to worry about who's offended and who's not but at the same time i know plenty of white people that use the word you know it never really bothers me when they're using it because number one why would it like that word holds no weight towards me but number two it's like you're old enough to make your own decisions all right i'm not about to be your grammar teacher and be like yo don't use that word like i'm preparing you for a fucking quiz or some shit it's your decision whether or not you want to use the word so if, if people got a problem with you using it well then shit that's none of my business I, i'm i'm just sitting on the sidelines coach coach don't gotta put me in that's that's all you if i had some tea i'm sipping that shit because I, I don't got nothing to do with it and that's exactly what y'all saw happen with this PewDiePie shit. Y'all saw a bad force of habit get brought into the light of the wrong group of people. What a fucking nigger. Jeez, oh my god. What the fuck? Sorry, but what the fuck? But where are What a fucking asshole. I don't mean that in a bad I'm all churched out. You could tell from the way that shit rolled off his tongue. That shit was like second nature to him. He, he obviously comfortable with saying it around somebody. The way that man said that shit too. Like, I don't even think the Ku Klux Klan is using that much force when they're saying the word. Like, god damn. That man had passion when he said the word. Nigger. And the fact of the matter is, this ain't the first time he used this shit. 18, nigga. And it's definitely not gonna be the last, judging how easily that shit rolled off his tongue this time. But the reason why people are so mad about this is because, number one, the this shit had no context like the way he used it he could have substituted for any single word he could have said what what a fucking little bitch what a fucking that what a fucking little whore and to be quite honest that's why i never really found that man funny like all his jokes are just shock humor like it, it never has any context it never has any substance it's literally like whenever he says something that's supposed to be funny he'll he'll, he'll just say something outlandish and then it will cause you to react and then and that's a joke like there's never anything to it it's like hey look at me i did this and then 
That's it. Like, I'm not five years old, all right? You yelling at a video game is not gonna make me laugh. Don't get me wrong, though. His work ethic, nobody can take that shit away from him. But for him to be the leading person with the most subscribers on YouTube, when you got people like Niga Higa, Swoozy, Hot Damn I Rock, people that are, like, genuinely funny. Hell, you're not even the funniest in your own lane. My boy Dashy funnier in one video than you been your whole career. But, of course, all the, all the big companies that are bringing their ads look to this man as the fucking youtube mascot and when he does some shit like this that fucks up all the ad revenue for everybody ain't nobody making money off this shit that's the only reason why i made this video to be honest F fuck a controversy give me my damn money that i'm owed because truth be told i could really give a fuck about what happens on this site all, all this youtube drama shit is lame as hell to me that's why the only time y'all ever see me respond to anything is if it directly involves me i don't i don't, I don't be messing with none of that shit that shit goofy as fuck i i, I still got paid for 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 my school books my car window isn't fixed i'm not even trying to pursue youtube as a career but had the ads been as they were like early 2016 i would be making around a thousand dollars off my channel so of course i'm gonna be mad that's a lot more money than i got right now i don't even got a thousand dollars in my bank account i've been on youtube food stamps since i started this shit every time i upload a video youtube be throwing pennies at my broke ass like i'm a monkey in a cage and those of y'all saying that it's just a word was probably the same people who was saying it was just a sign when he had those I don't even know where they were from but they was holding up the Nazi sign y'all was probably the same people that was co-signing that shit like this man got the back history he, 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 he got the car facts of him just taking L's consistently to this shit it's not a one time thing but at the end of the day ain't no bad occasion taking away 50 million subscribers his, his audience is going nowhere so basically I wasted my time making this video moral of the story if you're gonna fuck up just make sure you got a stable enough audience that you can fall back on because that's pretty much all I learned from this shit.